So in this problem, we see that there is a shaded region that is a part of a circle. So we're going to do two things. Number one, find the entire area of this half circle, right? Because this is a half circle. There's a diameter there. So we're going to find that entire area to start with. And then I'm going to find the area of this triangle and subtract it. So subtracting, I am literally going to erase that much out of it. <clears throat> but first, we need to start with our circle. <clears throat> so hopefully you notice this is a diameter. The diameter cuts our circle in half. So the area of the whole entire thing is pi r squared divided by 2, which has a radius of 9 since the diameter is 18, <clears throat> which is half of 81. 81 pi divided by 2 is 40 and a half pi, which is approximately approximately 127.235 for the entire half circle area. So now let's deal with our triangles. So if I know the whole entire thing is not 18, that means that must be 9. Because this is an isosceles triangle and this is a 90 degree angle, because that's always happens, I'm going to drop another one here. Now I make two triangles that I am better equipped at, because this is also a radius of 9, and that's a radius of 9. So now I've made two radiuses of 9, so I'm going to find the area of this triangle, 1 half of 9 times 9, which is just 40.5 half of 81. Now that's for this part over here. Okay, now the other one is also 9 and 9, so it is also has an area of 40.5, which means that my triangle has an entire area of 81 square inches when I combine both of these halves of my triangle. So if I would only subtract my triangles from my semicircle, I would figure out what the area of the shaded region is. And that comes out to be 46.235 square inches. So you find the area of your circle first, and then however you can find the area of your triangle, we do that, and then we subtract them. 